Hey there, and welcome back to the TBH Video Journal. I'm Michael Middleton, and today I want to continue my elk prep series of videos where I've been highlighting some of the gear that I'm going to be using on my very first uh, backcountry elk hunt coming up in September in Colorado. And um, today I want to highlight a little bit of the sleep system that I'm going to be using. I think I finally got it settled in. And I'm going to start with the shelter. Um, for shelter, I had the option of either running a tent or a tarp. And I've been using a tarp for the last two or three years uh, on various camping trips. Uh, did it on, uh, used it on yak packing trips, uh, trips up to the mountains. And I really like the versatility that just a regular square tarp offers. This is a 10 by 10 square top tarp uh, for DD hammocks. Um, it is their nylon version. Uh, it comes in at 790 grams, which is right at one pound, nine ounces, I believe. Um, they do have an ultralight version and I consider making the switch, but I decided ultimately just to go with uh, the nylon version of the tarp. About, I could have saved about a half pound, looked at some other cell, cell nylon options, looked at some options. Uh, Kefaro just introduced a tarp that looks like it's a really good tarp, um, but I decided to go ahead and save the money and use the tarp that I have. Some people like the security of being fully enclosed and having the floor. I don't mind running a floorless shelter um, and having an opening, uh, but it, again, the versatility, you can use it for hammock camping, you can use it for uh, several different ground pitches, uh, depending on what the weather conditions are. Um, and so again, it just offers a, a, a lot of versatility that you just can't get out of a tent. So um, again, shelter DD hammocks, uh, nylon 10 by 10 tarp. Okay, so I'm pairing that with a, a quilt. Um, I actually like the idea of running a quilt. I've, I've used a quilt for the last probably year and a half or so a different quilt. This is one I just picked up last week. The one that I had been running is a down quilt and this one is just a kind of a cheap Chinese knockoff. It's uh, called a wind hard. Picked it up on Amazon a little over a hundred bucks. It is an 850 fill goose down um, quilt. It's really light weighs in about one pound as you can see it compresses extremely small. It actually works really well for milder conditions. I used it on my scouting trip in April or May and um, it worked okay, but I did find myself getting a little bit cool. Um, the way that it's made, the way the baffles are made, um, it does allow a little bit of draft to it. Uh, and so I, I think I could have fixed that with a puffy jacket, which I didn't have at the time, but I decided that now would be a good time to uh, go ahead and upgrade. And so I made the upgrade to um, this 15 degree Outdoor Vitals. Um, Outdoor Vitals is a company that I've kind of had my eye on for the last couple of years. Been watching some of their videos and it appears they make uh, some really good quality products and at very reasonable prices. And they had a 4th of July sale last week. I went ahead and picked this up. Um, this is a new quilt that they are, are offering that has a Loftec insulation, which according to Tayson over at Outdoor Vitals, uh, most closely mimics uh, the fibers of down. And so um, it's really compressible. I could compress it more than what it is in the stuff sack. Again, I can't speak a whole lot to it because I haven't used it yet, but it looks like it's gonna be a, a good quality, durable product. I'll be curious to see how the insulation, the Loftec insulation holds up over time, but I won't know that until I use it. The third item is um, sleeping pad. Uh, this is a Nature Hike, Nature Hike Light sleeping pad that I found on Amazon. I saw some pretty good reviews on it. It supposedly rivals some of the Thermarest uh, lightweight sleeping pads. Um, according to some users, it's a lot quieter. I haven't ever used the Thermarest, so I can't really speak to that. But I can tell you that I have used this for at least a year and a half now. I've used it probably five, six, seven, times multiple nights and have had really good luck with it um, again this is a, something that i used on the uh, scouting trip uh, over memorial weekend worked really well um, it doesn't have the insulative value that the thermarest has i think this is an r value of three but it got down to, i think 36 or 38 degrees um, while i was there and i didn't find myself getting cold from the ground up again it, it, the only uh, un discomfort that i had was from the draft from the quilt so um, i don't think i have any problems with this it holds air i haven't ever had a problem with it losing air i can fill it up completely i can let some of the air out i've used it 
on the ground and I've also used it in the tarp. Now I went back and forth and still wavering a little bit. I actually prefer hammock camping over ground camping and so I went back and forth on that. I think I've about settled in that I'm going to go ahead and ground camp in this situation but I think I'm probably going to go ahead and take a hammock. Um, I have several different hammocks. This one is a Yukon Ultralight V2 that I've had for several years. It's a nine foot single hammock. Um, it's just a you know just a parachute type hammock it weighs in again right at a pound i think one pound three ounces i got some ultralight suspension actually picked up from outdoor vitals as well and so i'm gonna go ahead and take this this is something that i took with me on my scouting trip and i found it really handy um, i just kept it uh, right there on my pack when i got tired climbing up the mountain i would just kind of stop hang it up between two trees i could sit and rest um, when i got back to where my camp was uh, I went ahead and set this up first just to relax, just to rest. Um, I, I had a little bit of altitude sickness or dehydration, and so it was nice just being able to hang this up, take a little quick siesta, and, uh, and it worked well. So I'll probably go ahead and take this again. I haven't decided fully yet. Maybe worth a pound uh, to have it. If I was going to be using the hammock uh, as my primary sleep system, um, I would need to either run with the sleeping pad again or with an under quilt and it actually is uh, can double up as a as an under quilt um, fairly effectively so um, i don't think i'll take both of these items i'll probably just go ahead and take the hammock and just use it kind of in the day and just as a uh, t to lounge around in but um, if i if i was going to run it i would i would go ahead and take both of these quilts um, the only other thing that i'm going to take is a Tyvek ground cloth um, that I'll have underneath the sleeping pad just for a little additional protection from punctures and that kind of thing. It's a, just a little three by seven sheet of Tyvek that I'm going to be uh, that I'll that I'll have with me as well. All right, so that's my sleep system. Um, let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on tarp versus tent. If you have any other comments, leave those in the comments section below as well. Also, if you're going on a hunt this fall, um, what is your preference for sleep system? Let me know all that in the comments section below. Once again, I appreciate you joining me. I've got a couple of other videos that I want to do on some of the other gear, such as uh, the clothes. I've got some new arrows that uh, that Jeff over at uh, Cinnamon Creek Archery built for me. A um, couple of other things that I'll uh, post videos on those later. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you'll be notified when I get those uploaded. Once again, as always, I appreciate you joining me and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.